And good afternoon, dear colleagues. Today we will uh, discuss and try to illustrate uh, practical parts of different AMG and DEVOC potential methods. Uh, first of all, we, we will start with some sensory evoke potentials because uh, to save some part and time, we applied electrodes, but I will show how to do it. Uh, for some sensory evoke potentials, it's a registration by electrical activity. Uh, uh, from uh, different levels, from uh, cortical level, spinal level, and uh, plexus level, we will restrate three channel uh, th three channel of evoke potentials. For that, we will use our three channel uh, EMG machine light box. Uh, so uh, we will uh, we will restrict answers. From these through lines from electrical stimulation, we will registrate some other sensory evoke potentials uh, with median nerve stimulation. So, uh, for registration, we usually we need to use cup electrodes because we need uh, a very good impedance, low, very low impedance. So we need to very carefully prepare skin. So. We, we should use alcohol and also some abrasive paste uh, before set electrodes. And after that, we add cap electrodes with uh, ad adhesive paste. After that, we set electrodes. So this time we use, we registrate some other sensory uh, well potentials from median nerve. So we set contralateral primary sensory cortex, uh, S5, S6, uh, spinal level and uh, uh, both of these channels registrate uh, to reference FZ electrodes and also we registrate peripheral nerve uh, which we registrate ipsilateral uh, air point to contralateral air point. So also we need uh, ground electrode usually it uh, must be set between uh, stimulation and uh, registration channels, uh, for example, on arm and stimulation. Stimulation, we need uh, use uh, uh, averaging about from 100 to 500 stimuli. So we need constant stimulation. It's better to use uh, um, adhesive electrodes than classical bar electrodes. So, we prepared all, all methods. Now we can open them in program. Uh, so we can use uh, open it. It's already open, but we choose short latency. Ah, sorry, demonstration. <laughs> yes. In our, in our program, we can uh, choose in menu. Um, main to toolbar, main toolbar, short short latency evoke potentials. We started in that. Uh, so we can see parameters of simulation, ma maximum average, and for example, we can stimulate up to one thousand, or sometimes more. It's uh, amount of the stimulation connect with uh, the level of the noise. So we will check how it will be. Uh, we start stimulation with low intensity. Usually uh, we need to uh, stimulate about two, three times higher than uh, sensory threshold. So, and we stimulate usually at the level of little twitch of the thumb for median nerve. So we uh, gradually increase the stimulation. We, uh, but first of all, we again must uh, check impedance. So it's uh, quite good impedance for cortical and uh, uh, spinal level, and some uh, some some bigger for air points. But answer it's good for this answer. So we we can a little bit light some better. But in general, it's okay for us for 
for peripheral level. So we start monitoring. You can see three channels of registration. And now we can uh, start greatly increased stimulation. So at, at first we, we can start with single stimulation to look uh, increase up to a uh, little to each of the thumb. Now I can see it, it's about this level. So, and now we, uh, we, we can start the repetitive stimulation for, so we started. Uh, usually it's better to use classical tool. Uh, it's, it, as I said, it's a connection with different level noise and uh, the, uh, uh, the measure of answers. It, we can use uh, from 200, 500 to 1000 electrodes. Now already in online, we, we can start uh, peaks on all three channels. So it's a peripheral answer. It's a, it, the, it has the least latency, it's spinal level and uh, cortical level. Now really it's not bad, we can start stop that registration for for this clinic uh, for this demonstration so really we can uh, mark them we, we know it's uh, n so for uh, peripheral level we use n9 uh, peak for subcortical level it will be n13 and for cortical n20 or n18 so we can start them, uh, set them. And then 20. So automatically uh, the, the program uh, calculate all parameters. Now we can see the normal and we can a little bit move them. So for all types of low potentials, we need to uh, reproduce reproducibility. So we, it's better to repeat our stimulation. We will do it. And, and we can use some sensor low potentials for, for control integrity, for uh, estimate dynamic of the process. And also we use it at unconscious uh, states and, and to check integrity or domination of different spinal or mostly central nervous system, sometimes peripheral nervous system too. So we can, you can see a good reproducibility of the answers on all three levels. So for demonstration it's sufficient, okay. Uh, we, we can uh, superimpose them. You can see very good. It's so uh, I think we can finish that for with some sensible potentials.